Hi, I'm Dr. Dirk Dickens and welcome to my kitchen. Well, the holiday season is upon us and I'm certainly looking forward to Christmas and New Year's and all the beautiful food that goes along with it. Well, most of us will be having a nice turkey dinner. But what about our pets? What about our little babies, our doggies and our kitty cats? Don't they deserve a little bit of a Christmas dinner? Well, the answer is yes. However, we have to take a few things into consideration. There are some things that are healthy and good for our pets, and there are some things that are maybe not so good. So I'm gonna suggest if your animals have any allergies or sensitivities to certain types of food, to check with your own veterinarian first to see what's appropriate to feed them and what is not. However, if there's no issues, let's have a look at what we have on the typical Christmas dinner. Well, the star of the dish Usually it's a turkey, I've got a little bit of turkey here, or some people might have the wonderful ham, your choice. There's nothing wrong with feeding your animals some turkey or some ham, but I'm gonna suggest that like this piece has a lot of skin on it, to take off the skin and just give the pure turkey meat. Same with the ham, don't give them the bone of the ham, you know, it might be too hard to chew on. For the turkey, the bones, when they're being cooked, they splinter quite easily and they can cause obstructions in their in their bowels and you don't want to be going to an emergency veterinary clinic on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So just the pure meat of the turkey or the ham. Small, moderate amounts, don't overdo it. What about some of the condiments with it? Well, let's have a look at our, um, the cranberries. Well, cranberries are very popular. However, we often add a lot of sugar to it. And if you're like my wife, she adds on a little bit of Grand Marnier to it. So that's probably not so appropriate. Alternatively, you can just have some plain cranberries you can feed to your pets, or you can just cook them lightly in some water by itself, and they will certainly enjoy that. Carrots, often served as well. Plain, you can give them raw, you can give them uh, cooked. That's all good to give as well. They're empty calories. They will kind of go to the digestive system, so you might see some evidence in their stools, but they're okay to give as well. Then we have our uh, Brussels sprouts. They're great as well. Now, if you're mixing them with, let's say, some uh, bacon, and you have them cooking in the bacon fat for quite a bit, that might be a bit rich. So make sure you take the bacon out, just give them the uh, Brussels sprouts. Some things to avoid. Uh, I've got a big onion here and some garlic. Um, they are risky foods to feed. So especially if you give them in large amounts. So if you're mixing them in with any of your dishes, let's say your, um, your mashed potatoes and you have some garlic in there, it's probably not a good idea to give the mashed potatoes. We'll often put some butter in the mashed potatoes as well. So if we're gonna go for potatoes, I'm gonna say either, you know, cut up a couple of pieces of raw potato, very healthy for them. They're gonna scrunch in it uh, quite uh, happily. Um, or just lightly cooked, just plain cooked or, or boiled potatoes. This is excellent for them too. Again, small amounts. For the garlic and the onion, if they have a tiny bit that they're ingesting, it's not the end of the world. Just remember, high amounts of garlic and onion can be harmful to their health. So we've got all the main ingredients here. What are we missing here? Oh, I see gravy. Gravy is often, I mean, one of the main parts of the, our uh, Christmas dinner as well. Gravy can be quite rich, quite fatty. Uh, often there will be some spices mixed in together with some uh, uh, savory uh, seasonings. So I'd probably be very gentle and very careful with the gravy, just a small amount or just avoid it altogether. Uh, the same with the, um, the stuffing of the, um, of the turkey. Um, there's a lot of things mixed in there like nuts and things like that. So um, some nuts are good for doggies, but we do know for instance that macadamia nuts or toxic to pets, so avoid those. So avoid the stuffing altogether as well. So no gravy, no stuffing. So let's keep it very plain and simple here for them. What am I missing here? Of course, dessert. Yeah, dessert is always one of the highlights, especially for me and from Belgium, so I love chocolate. Remember, chocolate, not good for pets, it's toxic. They can't tolerate the chocolate. And again, you wanna avoid a visit to the, the emergency clinic or any of the lovely cakes that we have or baked goods. Often they're rich in sugar. They might have fruits and nuts in there uh, or even some alcohol in there. Not so good for our pets. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea on how to put together an easy, simple dish for our doggies and our kitties. 
Um, a little word about our kitty cats. Uh, cats are meat-eating kind of little mongrels, so make sure that you kind of focus mostly on the meaty part and not as much on the vegetables and the, the fruit part. Um, as for ourselves here, from our kitchen to your kitchen, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I think I'm going to try one of these chocolates right here. Mmm, very good.